I'm tired of people not sharing their best prompts. Today, I'm gonna show you the ultimate Nano Banana Pro cheat code. It's like I found the golden banana, I mean prompt. This will allow you to generate the most realistic and best AI images you've ever created. All you need to do is find a prompt you like, preferably a Jason nested prompt. But what if I don't have any Jason prompts, Eric? Then what? Well, you're in luck because today I'm gonna give you exactly what you need to help you jumpstart this process. And then I'll show you how to create a prompt generator so you'll be able to create infinite detailed JSON prompts anytime you want. Now we're gonna head over here into my prompts portal. Up at the very top, I have added a brand new category and it's called Nano Banana. But first, have you ever scrolled through social media and found some awesome prompts that create insanely realistic AI images? If so, go ahead and start bookmarking those. But again, like I said, if you don't have any, I'll supply you with those specific JSON prompts today. So let's quickly visit this prompts portal database. And just as a quick example, copy one of these prompts just to show you how good of a job this actually turns out. So I'll go ahead and just quickly scroll and just show you how some of these actually end up looking. In fact, I have a filter built in to show me specific JSON prompts and the images that they'll actually create. But where this really will stand out are gonna be just the levels of realism when it does come to people or selfie style prompts like that. So whenever you see specific images or JSON prompts that just sometimes tend to trend or go viral in social media, these are the sorts of prompts that you're probably seeing, these long JSON nested ones that end up creating these awesome looking AI images. And so if you're not familiar with how to create JSON prompts, but you want to generate images that look this good, you're in luck because today I'm showing you exactly how this is done. So again, just as a quick example, just to show you how good this looks, let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing like this, any prompt, just to show you how impressive this actually turns out. Paste that full prompt in just like that. We'll come back to this in a second. Now, again, we're not really gonna focus too much on this because this is just to give you a quick example of what sort of images that you'll be creating very soon. So if you already have bookmarked or have some good JSON prompts saved, you can go ahead and start using those. If not, no problem. Just simply visit this page on my website. In fact, all of my blog posts will contain a ton of prompts you can use completely for free. Here on this one specifically, we have some great JSON prompts that we can actually use. Now I add new prompts to this website every single week, so make sure that you continue to check on these pages. And again, as a reminder, any prompts I share in my videos are always available for free. Check the links in the description. In addition to if you want some of these prompts databases, so once you have a few JSON prompts saved up, the first thing we'll need to do is create a document or specifically a PDF. But before we start that process, let's head back over into Gemini and look at that, this turned out insanely realistic. Now I had to cover this image up a little bit. It's really not too risque, but I do know that the prompt does contain some words that may get flagged in other tools. Now, like I said, in order to first start this process, let's open up a tool to where we can quickly just copy and paste these JSON prompts. You can use anything from Google Docs, Canva Docs, Microsoft Office, etc. But all you need to do is come in here, like I have on my screen right here that you can see, just simply copy and paste these prompts, label them prompt one, prompt two, etc. But on this page right here, I only have four JSON prompts, but you could tell if I expand out, these prompts are incredibly long. Now you can just use this same method I'm about to show you in the chat itself. But again, since these prompts are so long, I just recommend using a document to upload in the LLM. So once you have your JSON prompts pasted into a document, all you need to do now now is just download it as a PDF file. Okay, so now with that PDF downloaded, let's head to an LLM. Now we can use anything. We can use ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, Grok, whatever you want to use. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll open up two windows. We'll have Gemini Pro and also ChatGPT. But I do like using Gemini specifically for this because it's so easy to just generate the images with Nano Banana Pro in here. But you can even use tools like FreePick, Leonardo AI, or even Higgs field AI, as long as Nano Banana Pro is available in any of those tools. Okay, so remember that PDF that we just downloaded? Here it is right here. 
Again, it's nine pages long and it only contains four prompts. That's because those JSON prompts are in fact so long. But here's what we're gonna do next. The next thing we need to do is create our very own prompt generator. Now you could see the one I created right here on your screen. In fact, you can even use this one if you want. Now again, like I said, I'll include this via the link in the description as well. But in the future, if you want to create this same process, it is pretty simple. Now I like to break it up into different segments with the hashtag of role, context, and instructions. This is all we're gonna say, okay? Just give it a brief title of who this is. You're a nano vision prompt engineering visionary master, okay? And what we're looking for is a pipeline to create advanced realistic images where you're gonna supply me with cameras, lenses. As an example, the iPhone 17 Pro Max, and we even want some meta tokens for really good realism. Now, this is where the important part happens, the context. So you're going to basically tell the AI that I'm going to upload a document that contains four JSON prompts. Now, remember that document is the one that we copied and pasted the JSON prompts and we just downloaded. So I'm going to upload that document. These prompts generate the most realistic AI images simulating extreme realism. So long story short, what we want the LLM to do is we're going to upload the document into chat GPT, Gemini, Claude, whatever you want. Then in the instructions, it says based on my document and the JSON prompts included, I want you to create a reusable meta prompt generator that I can use over and over again based on any subject I provide, specifically JSON formatted. We're going to get four things from this. First, the LLM is going to either ask us what our subject is and we can simply provide our specific need. But if we don't know, we also have the ability to get 10 unique suggestions. After the AI receives our subject, we'll get two prompts, an original JSON prompt and then a second version that's completely unique and different from the first one. Make sure it includes the best meta tokens. And now after we get those generations or those prompts, ask me what I basically need next. Now, you can follow these instructions or just use the prompt I have available in the description, the one we just read off of. And if you happen to have my prompt generators database, which we're in now, you can also find these prompts. In fact, you can find on this top row a few different varieties of this one, included an animated one that will generate animation Pixar style ones. But for today, let's work on the one that we just looked at. It's gonna be this first one, right here so with this whole thing copied let's now head over to our llm okay we're gonna do it in both chat gpt and right now i'm over here in gemini now the most important part don't submit this prompt yet because remember we have to include our document and so i'm gonna click and drop it right there that's the document we just made in canva docs remember because we're telling the ai to analyze our document to then provide those amazing json prompts there it is right there in gemini Okay, now let's do the same thing in chat GPT. There's that prompt again. And now I'll bring in my document over here. Once it's done being loaded, now we can then hit the submit button just like that. There we go. We're going to have two LLMs going at the same time. You can see that we're already getting Gemini working on this. And what it's going to do is it's talking to itself. When it's done, you're basically going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can see it right here. It says to begin, please choose one option. Give me a specific subject or ask me to provide 10 unique subjects to start with. What we're gonna do, let's look at ChatGPT quickly. As I scroll down, it should do the same thing. Now, if you use ChatGPT, it's also gonna provide you with a template. We're not using the template. Again, scroll down and it will also ask you the same question. Give me 10 subjects or provide ChatGPT with the subject. Let's go back to Gemini and first give it a specific subject. 24 year old woman taking a selfie in the penthouse suite in Las Vegas. That's Gemini. Let's go to chat GPT. And for this one now, we're gonna say, give me 10 subjects. So here we have it. It's gonna first just give me these quick 10. And right off the bat, I can already say, I like the way these look. Let's just go with this third one right here. All we have to do now in chat GPT is just then say number three. Okay, just like that. And now instantly in both LLMs, we're going to get that JSON prompt. Look at this. Okay. Remember, here's my subject I provided in Gemini. There's that long JSON prompt. Remember, I don't get just one. I get two. 
The first one is gonna be that original one, but now as I scroll down, we're gonna get this morning after balcony twist. Two awesome Jason prompts right away. Back to chat GPT, same thing. Now this is gonna be for that K-pop style person. I get the Tokyo Arcade selfie. That's version A. Scroll down, version B. Same subject, completely new twist. Reimagined scene inside of a rain-soaked Tokyo alley at night. Okay, beautiful. What I'll do is I'll copy and paste all four of these. I'll generate the first one in Gemini itself since we're already here. For the other prompts, I'll copy and paste these into other tools, FreePick, Leonardo AI, and Higgsfield AI. Okay, all of these images are done. Check out how amazing these all look. Again, as long as you have access to Nano Banana Pro, it really doesn't matter where you use it. And now finally, let's look at the very end of the prompt because the thing I really do like are gonna be the next steps, the questions we're gonna get. In Gemini, would you like me to generate another variation of this Vegas theme, perhaps a casino floor or poolside scene, or do you have a new subject? Let's go ahead and say this. We're gonna say both casino floor, and poolside scene. Why not? Why not get multiple prompts? There we have it, both. Let's see what ChatGPT gave us at the very end as we scroll all the way down. Would you like another variation, a totally new subject, or choose from another 10? Let's go ahead and see what other subjects we get. So I'll say down here at the bottom, a new set of 10. Again, I really do like this method because it gives me some good ideas that maybe I wouldn't have thought of off the top of my head. And now there we go. We're going to get even 10 more to use. You can keep the process going over and over again, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, remember to check the links in the description, but thanks so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button until then. I'll see you next time. Subscribe to the meal, yeah, you already know. Click the links below, let the algorithm glow. I'm the prompt star, welcome to the show. Type one line, watch an empire grow. I'm the prompt star.